Hey guys, so my hair is still wet because I just got out of the shower a few minutes ago, but today I'm reviewing for you How I Live Now by Meg Rossoff. Rossoff. I don't know why I'm so bad at pronouncing authors and titles and stuff recently. I deeply apologize. How I Live Now was published by Wendy Lamb Books in 2004. This is one of those books that I just kept seeing recently. I saw it at LeakyCon, I saw it when I went to Powell's um, in Portland, and then I saw it at another secondhand bookstore. And so I decided to just pick it up because it was like $4. So I kept seeing it and it sounded pretty interesting. How I Live Now is the story of a 15-year-old New Yorker named Daisy who moves because of family issues and stuff. She is sent to live with her family that she's never met, her cousins, in London or in England, not London. But when she gets there, there's this big outbreak of a war, basically. It's this war that is not really talked about the reasons why, it just everyone keeps saying that there's this war coming and the war comes. And this is basically the story of the cousin's survival and love and I don't know it's just it's a really really interesting story it's really short as well and I think because it's so short it didn't really leave much of a lasting impact though that's not always true a lot of short books have left lasting impacts but I don't know I felt like I mean on the front there's this blurb from Mark Haddon who wrote The Curious Incident of the Dog at Nighttime which is really fantastic it says magically and utterly faultless and I just didn't really feel that and I know a lot of people were saying how this book changed their lives and I don't know, I just, I didn't really feel much when I read this book. It's told in a really interesting style, it's all told like a diary and there's very little actual dialogue, like with quotation marks. It'll just say within a paragraph, Edmund said this and I said this and it's not, I don't know, it's a really interesting style and um, there's a lot of caps lock and there's very little actual emotion. Um, and where the emotion is, it's basically just told to you. I felt this. I don't know. It's it's an interesting style and it's definitely something I recommend reading if you're looking for like a new style that you haven't read before. As for the actual characters, the main character Daisy I didn't really feel much for. I really liked Piper which was her little girl cousin and they kind of travel throughout England trying to find the rest of their family when they're split up and um, yeah Piper was just kind of this image of life and and youth and beauty. They all felt more like symbols during wartime. You have the symbol of love, you have the symbol of lust, you have the character who's so invested and really wants to get, in with, get into the war. But overall I just have to say that I didn't, I didn't really care for this book. Like it wasn't bad but it wasn't that memorable and I'm sure it's just one of those things that didn't resonate with me. But if you if you liked the book that I reviewed last year called Resistance by Owen Shears, this is kind of an interesting supplement to that. They're both about um, invasions and wartime, and this is very, very different, but it has the same kind of poetic feeling to it. Overall, I gave How I Live Now 3 out of 5 stars. I'm almost caught up with all of the books that I've read and haven't reviewed, almost, so that is a good thing. I'm gonna go rec record another one right now, and I'll see you guys then. Bye.